back to my channel if you haven't even met before my name is Shiv hello if you're coming back then welcome so in today's video I'm filming this look right here using the Revolution Pro new neutrals luxe shadow palette which is essentially supposedly a dupe of the Huda Beauty neutrals palette or whatever it is called I will have it up on the screen for you but it's supposed to be a dupe of that it is absolutely stunning to look at and I think they've done a really good job of the palette I do have some thoughts on the shadows and everything like that in the palette so definitely stay tuned for that to see my full honest thoughts and feelings. I know my channel has been very revolution heavy at the moment and I do apologise for that. It's just the convenience of not being paid for it or anything like that as much as that would be really cool. <laughs> this is just a massive convenience but yeah convenience? Coincidence is what I meant to say. But yeah if you would like to see how I created this makeup look then please carry on watching. Before you do carry on watching please give this video a little thumbs up. Little one. Little doop doop doop. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, it will mean the world. And let's just carry on with the video. So I've already primed my eyes and done my brows. I used the Technic Ultimate Brow Kit. This is in the shade. Okay, it doesn't have a shade, but it's the one with the darker colours. And then I put some concealer on the lid. I used the LA Girl Pro Conceal on the lid. Set that into place with a little bit of the Technic Colour Fix Powder. Popped a little bit of cell tape on the outer corner of my eye. And now we're ready to jump into the shadows. The first shade that I'm going to take is this one here called Delight. And I'm going to pop that into the upper crease as my first transition. Even though this palette isn't like super bright and colourful, I'm actually really excited to play with it. I can't wait to get my eyeballs onto these like pressed glittery shades. They look stunning. I think I'm going to go with the shade Golden for this look because I tend to do a lot of like the red wine kind of look. So I'm going to take the shade Golden as like my main focal point. But I'm going to pop that shade Delight into the upper crease of the eye. This is on a Sigma E40 blending brush. And I'm just blending back and forth to start off this eye look. I know my channel has been very Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty like heavy at the moment and I do apologize for that it just happens to be the time where I want to film with like all of the new palettes and create looks and everything so don't worry there will be other branded kind of makeup looks and videos coming up soon as well as hauls and everything like that so definitely get excited I have a feeling this palette is going to be absolutely lovely this color is going on nice and smoothly it's not too intense which is a kind of like light wash of color The next shade that I'm going to go into is this one right here, which is called Rumour. It's like a warm brown shade, and I'm going to pop it through the crease of my eye just to start intensifying things. And I'm going to take it on a Morphe M513 brush. I'm just starting with the outer corner, I'm just kind of working that inwards and then pulling it through the crease. Please ignore my fake tan hands. When I have foundation on, you won't even be able to tell that's a different colour. <laughs> I haven't actually rinsed off the guide colour yet, I just wanted to film this, then I'm going to go jump in the shower. When you're a YouTuber, makeup doesn't really tend to stay on your face for very long. I am going out for dinner tonight. Nick's taking on a date night. Yay! I'm super excited but I am filming another video later on which is another revolution themed video. Sorry guys. Promise you they aren't paying me to do these videos. I just really like doing them. After that I think it's going to calm down on the revolution front for a little while. There might be the odd video like a new palette but nothing crazy as of recently but I will be wearing that look to dinner so whatever look I come up with later I bet I'm going to prefer this look though. Typical. Putting that through the crease. This is a really pretty colour. It comes off a little bit lighter than it does look in the pan. But I feel like I could kind of build it up. Really pressing that on the outer corner of the eye. The tape works wonders. I'm going to take a little bit more of that delight shade and just use this to blend out the dark brown. Just make sure it's nice and diffused. I think I'm going to go for like a soft glittery glam kind of look. Now the palette actually comes with a little like cream concealery base type thing called Base. This is basically a dupe of the Huda Beauty Nudes palette. I forget what it's called. I'll have it on the screen somewhere, but it's supposed to be a dupe of that. And that one comes with a little concealer shade you can use to like cut the crease and stuff. So I'm going to take the shade Base on a little lip brush and just use this to kind of cut the crease. Just taking it on my lip brush. It's basically just like a cream concealer. Pieces. 
this is nice and thick. I'm gonna do one eye at a time because I don't know how messy this is gonna be. I wasn't planning on taking it that high, but I guess that's where we're going. Now I'm gonna go in with this beautiful shade here, which is called Golden. It's like a rose gold and it actually has like kind of green and gold bits of glitter running through it. It's really beautiful. I don't know whether to put it on with my finger or not because I have really long, like kind of sharp nails. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pat it on. I might try it and just see what happens. If not, I'll go to like a synthetic brush and spray it with loads of setting spray. So hopefully this will work. I'm kind of hoping it does, though I'm just gonna waste loads of glitter. So I'm gonna go into the glitter. Okay, I've got the glitter on my finger. It's gonna pop that on top of the base. So pretty, it's just kind of difficult to apply. The thing is with press glitters is they look so beautiful, but I always really, oh, see, I've got it everywhere already. It's all up in that crease. This is not a precise look anymore. I don't even know how I'm gonna fix that. All right, let's try going in with a little bit of that ring brush, just brushing away the glitter. I really can't get enough precision with my fingers. I'm just gonna go in with a synthetic brush and see if I can do anything with it. It's kind of crumbling everywhere in the pan. I've never been a fan of press glitters. Okay, let's just try and do something. I'm glad that I filmed this look first. I'm really trying to make sure it's on the base. It's kind of helping with the brush, but it definitely does not look the neatest like at all some people love the press glitters i'm just oh no i just find them really difficult to work with and like with your fingers and stuff you can't get like precision or anything like that i almost want to go back to like putting like lash glue on my lid to do that i know it's probably not the best but like glitter glue maybe with an actual glitter and the more i kind of play at it it looks all right but i do have glitter everywhere and it's definitely a lot higher than I intended. It does look nice though. Yeah, I could definitely use some work and I don't really know how to like neaten this up. I'm gonna take the brush that had the rumor shade on and go in with a little bit more and then just kind of like pack that very gently on the outer corner. Literally just packing, just so it blends in a little bit subtle but glittery it does look nice i'm just not a big fan of press glitters and i can kind of see it creasing a little bit as well okay i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and i'll be right back okay so i'm back with the other eye put on now i'm going to pop on a winged liner hopefully this will kind of like take away from the messy glitter this is the revolution renaissance flick liner pen this is my favorite eyeliner ever definitely going to be repurchasing it when it runs out glitter is kind of hard to do a line over but i'm just gonna keep going until it's as smooth as i can get it i'm just gonna put it out maybe to about halfway up the tape and then put it back in and fill it in for a nice sharp wing I actually think that's made such a difference. When in doubt, wing liner. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull off the tape. Hopefully this looks nice. I feel like we can work with this. I'm gonna clean up the glitter on my cheeks and stuff once I finish the rest of the eyes. Now I'm gonna take a black eyeliner pencil and pop it through the waterline. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Eyes in the shade black. I've just realized the lip that I'm pairing with this look is red. <laughs> Hopefully it looks okay. Now I'm just going to take a flat shader brush. This is the MAC 239 brush. Now I'm gonna take the shade Rumor, that dark brown, and just run that under the lower lash line. I have glitter everywhere, but I'm gonna go clean up with a cotton pad in a second. Moving away from the palette for a moment, I'm going to curl my lashes with some nice lift before the mascara and the falsy, just pressing it gently. This is definitely not my most favourite look, I won't lie to you. It's just very messy. But we're going to roll with it, you guys. We're going to roll with it. We're going to keep going. So I'm just going to pop on some mascara. This is the Revlon Volumazing Mascara, which I really like. Now I'm going to pop on some falsies. Hopefully it will save with this look a little bit. These are the Suzanne Jackson In Collaboration Primark Lashes in the style in New York. I really like these. They're just super long and dramatic. I'm going to pop these on and I'll be right back. I just still haven't mastered putting false lashes on on camera because you just do this and this and this. It's all a bit of a disaster. So I'm going to pop these on and I'll be right back. We are back with the lashes on. I had a little bit of struggle. I'm <laughs> just using up my old lashes and then you know they just go a bit funky and then my eyes kind of like keep sticking together. So. 
that's great. So we're going to forget about the eyes for a second and move on to the face. I'm going to take the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer and just massage this into the skin. Okay, there are definitely still bits of glitter on my face, but can't be helped. Glitter will be on my face now for the next week. <laughs> just kind of what happens when you wear glitter on your eyes. It just gets everywhere. For foundation, I'm going to take the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade Natural. Then to blend it in, I'm going to take, this is the Blush Blend from Spicy Choco. I'm moving on to one of the new sponges now. And these sponges from Spicy Choco are just so freaking soft. This is amazing. It's the same shape actually as the Juno & Co sponge, but it's just a lot softer, doesn't have that kind of weird velvety finish but these sponges are amazing. So I'm just going to blend out my foundation in dabbing motions and you can see it's slowly going to blend in with my neck. Then for concealer I'm going to take my Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer and I just pop this under my eyes, in the middle of my forehead, chin and down my nose for a nice highlighted look. Then I'm just going to blend it in with the same Spicy Choco sponge. To, to set the face, I'm going to take my Technic Colour Fix Powder in the shade Bisque and just press this into the skin. Now to contour my face, I'm going to take my Bella Pierre Cosmetics Contour and Highlight Pro Palette. And I am going to take this shade here, which is called Brulee, to contour my face. I'm going to pop it under my cheekbones, down at the sides and around my forehead, down the sides of my nose, under my jaw, a little bit under my lip for a nice contour. And I'm just taking it on my BH Cosmetics Number no. 3 Contour Brush. For bronzer, I'm actually going to take this Technic Colour Fix Bronze Palette. I'm using a lot of Technic products, I've noticed. That's not intentional. It just happens to be what I've picked out of my makeup drawers. There's a lot of interesting colours in this palette. For bronzer, I'm going to take a mixture of these three colours here to bronze up my face. Maybe a little bit of the orangey one. We'll just see how it goes. I'm going to take it on my Eek Show brush. Bronzing up the outer bronzes of my face. It's actually come up really nice, that bronzer, you know. Really like it. For blush, I'm going to take my Primark Matte and Shimmer Pure Blush Palette. And I'm going to take this kind of like mauve blush right here, which is called In the Pink, and pop that on my cheeks. Just tapping that onto the apples of my cheeks. I've definitely put on way too much blush so I'm going to take my little powder brush and just kind of go over the top of it to dull it down a little bit. Then to set the face I'm going to take my Primark Matte Setting Spray. Then for highlight I'm going to take my Technic Colour Fix Highlighter Palette. Don't have shades do they? No they don't. Okay so I am going to take this kind of yellowy highlight right here at the top of the palette and pop that on my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose, maybe above the brow, above the lip, highlight the face. I'm now going to go back to my neutrals palette and I'm going to take the shade Glist which is right here. It's like a shimmery champagne colour and I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just taking it on my Sigma E32 Exact Blend Brush. I'm just going to re-top up the brown under the lower lash line where it's kind of like being dulled down by the powder. Then to finish off the look I'm going to pop some brow gel through my brows. This is the Maybelline Brow Drama in the shade Medium Brown. I need to get a new brow gel actually, I barely have any of this left. Then I'm going to pop some mascara on my lower lashes. 
then for lips I'm going to take a red lip liner. I know it's going to contrast quite a lot with the eyes. I kind of forgot that I was putting on a red lip. So we're just going to put it on and hopefully it kind of works. So this is the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade Delight. That was a really satisfying one. Love it. Okay, I'm going to pop that on my lips. Then for lips, I'm going to take this Revolution Pro lipstick. This is in the shade Stiletto, and it comes from the same collection, which is why I wanted to use it. So I'm going to pop that on. I haven't worn a red lipstick in a hot minute. Okay, I really should have exfoliated my lips before doing this. So this is the finished makeup look. I must say the eye look is not my favourite makeup look that I've ever done. This side is a lot messier than this side and the glitter kind of went everywhere. I'm not a big fan of the pressed glitters. I'm just going to have to put it out there. I feel really bad for saying that but I'm just not a fan of them. The actual palette itself, like the shadows and everything, performed really beautifully. And the palette is stunning. I haven't tried the Huda Beauty one so I don't... Ooh, I'm just going to show it up here. So I don't know if it is an exact dupe of this one however i have used the old version of the huda beauty desert dust palette and the glitters kind of performed somewhat similar but the actual shadows themselves are really beautiful i am filming another look using this palette later on today and i'm going to use more of like the purpley tones and i'm not going to use the pressed glitters for that so definitely look out for that and just see how the rest of it performs i feel like pressed glitters are one of those things that are very tricky and if they're done right they can be beautiful but i'm just not a fan and i've also gone so far into the pan i don't know if you can so i'm trying not to blind you if you can kind of see but it's gone really far in already and that's just for one eye look so I don't think the press glitters would last you very long. The actual palette itself is gorgeous. I will be doing a full review on it and the matte shades work beautifully. So yeah I do really like this palette. I just don't think the press glitters are something that I will be going towards on a daily basis um, or even just kind of like for a night out. I just feel like they're so messy and kind of difficult to work with. I did achieve kind of like a pretty eye look but it's just like I can't wait to take this off if that makes any sense. I'm filming a B&M haul after this video and then I'll be taking my makeup off and having a shower. But yeah, the mattes are beautiful. Other shades are really lovely. The concealer's really handy as well. I'm just not a big fan of the pressed glitters and that is my quick thoughts on the palette. I will be doing a blog review so if you do prefer to read a review it will be in the description box down below so definitely go ahead and check that out. But yeah, if you did enjoy watching this video to see how I created this makeup look then please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean the absolute world and I shall see you in my next video. Video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. <gasps> oh my god, look at that fake tan. <gasps> Whoops. <laughs> Here, which is called warmer, which is warmer? No, it's not. Doggy. My little dog doesn't seem to want to make her mind up which room she wants to be in. Now I'm going to pop a black waterline. These are the Suzanne Jackson. Jackson. Oh my god, it's just gone everywhere. What the fuck? Shot of these colours. Colours. <laughs> it's kind of a maybe shave, right? Shave. Blush palette, and I'm going to take, take them for lips. I'm actually. Oh my god, I hit myself in the nose. This makeup look, then please carry on.